Now many people know Zach Levine as the high flying dunk contest winning shooting guard for the Chicago Bulls. But today, I want to shed light on the leadership qualities he possesses, as well as the communication in terms of what he says on the court for the Bulls to allow the Bulls to get buckets and play seamless defense. He is finally starting to get credit this year. He's able to make his first All-Star game. And seeing how he plays in depth, I know that this is the first of many and that he will have the Bulls higher than a play-in spot in the future. But today, I just want to show what he says on the court as the leader for the Chicago Bulls. Now here's the first play I'm going to bring up right here. Zach Levine is known to push the pace on fast break given his athleticism and his ability to score the ball. So right here it's on full effect. He gets the rebound. Then you hear it right here. You hear swing it, swing it. Based on the offense and how the defense is situated, Vucevic is open. Then they can run a two-man game with Kobe White or he could throw it Patrick Williams. But what Zach Levine sees is... As Isaiah Stewart goes with Nikola Vucevic, everyone on that side is occupied. They cannot help. So it's a two-man game. It's him and Thaddeus Young versus Sekou and Killian Hayes. Now, if you look at Thaddeus Young right here, he seals him to the front. So Zach Levine has an open lane to go right near him as a basically a screen, but as a post-up as well. So look, he completely seals him to the front. Isaiah Stewart is in a helping position, but you'll see that he don't want to jump with Zach Levine. So right here, tries to fight over it. Daddy Sheng does a good job of pushing Sekou a little bit more towards Zach Levine, but Killian Hayes runs into Sekou. Not a lot of effort showed by Killian Hayes. That kind of disappointed me. But look, no one is helping on that side. Isaiah Stewart is the only one that can help. He doesn't help. Great dunk by Zach Levine. Great dunk. Great read on a fast break. It's hard to make quick reads like that, but it was a smart play by Thaddeus Young too. So this play right here really shows Zach Levine's ability to communicate. And although people say he's a bad defender, he's definitely not a bad defender. Now he's above, if people consider him above average. I, ex I consider him a great defender. So right here. Sadiq Bay. Sadiq Bay's gonna set a back screen on Lee. He's gonna hit Sadoransky. So now, Saturday is basically in a whirlpool, basically. Lee is going to go around Bay and Okafor. I've talked to Jaleel Okafor. And this play right here, you can see that Garrett Temple, they're kind of kind of mismatch. Garrett Temple is on a big man. Lori Markkinen's on the wing, and Thaddeus Sheng has to creep in because it's a big man on a small dude. So right here, flattened by the screen. So Garrett Temple, two-on-one, Lee. And Okafor versus Garrett Temple. Daddy Singh has to creep all the way in. Markin has two people. Zach Levine has to creep in too to help. So Garrett Temple kind of sits back to where Lee can't pass the ball. And gets Sadoransky back in play. Now Sadoransky is a pretty big dude. So he can, he can, they can kind of guard that a little bit. But not for our entire possession. Levine creeped all the way in to get on Okafor. Now he goes all the way out to Sadiq Bay. And you can hear, you heard him real quick right there. He said... Tells Sadoransky to go weak. Sato, go weak. Because Markkanen is on two people right now. And there's three people on two people right here. So he's like, go weak side. Someone's cutting. Sadoransky's able to cover the cut. Markkanen's able to cover the cut as well. And get out to the corner. And because of Zach Levine's communication, they're able to get right back into the correct players. Daddy Young is on a big man. Markkanen's in the corner. Sadoransky's on the cutter, his man. Zach Levine's on S Sadiq Bay. Three seconds left. Pistons got to shoot some bad shot. They dare him to shoot a three. He does. It's off. That stop was all because of Zach Levine's communication right there. If he didn't tell Sadoransky to get out there in time, Pistons would have got a three up and they probably would have scored. So great call by Zach Levine. He wasn't even looking. He really wasn't looking at the play and he was able to get Sadoransky in the right place. Smart, smart, smart defense by Zach Levine. This play right here really shows Zach Levine's ability to listen to his teammates. Their suggestions probably lead to more buckets. So right here, you can see Sadoransky goes to talk to him. He's like, hey, on this play, can you stay on the left side? So that when we run this two-man game, 
barely see it, but he's like, you run this two-man game. And on the right wing, like, if you're on the left side, it's going to intrude on us. Like, if we do this two-man game, it'll be an easy bucket. So Levine's like, all right, I got you. Missed the free throw, get the board. So they run the play. So he tells him, he's like, hey, stay right here. So right here, they run a two, they're all on the left side of the court. They run a two-man game with him and Thaddeus Young. Tedoransky uses his arm, push off a little, just a little, cut through, and one. But see, if somebody was on that side, look, they all stacked up. So there is a direct lane to the basket. Perfectly direct lane. No one can help because they're all on that side. No help. All three-point shooters. Great play call. Billy Donovan, great play call. And there's a great point guard, point guard abilities right there. Telling him like, hey, stay on this side. Do what you got to do exactly. And telling him, reminding him like, hey, stay on this side. We got this points right here. See, he cuts right through to the Oak Forest, nine in the way, and one. Great play by the Chicago Bulls. Good job by Zach Levine, you know, letting the play work out how it works out. Trusting his teammates. That's what it takes. So this play right here really shows Zach Levine's ability to run point guard when Kobe White is the off-ball player. So they're about to get the rebound. He's going to pass it to Zach Levine. You hear Billy Donovan. He says, And then he tells Daddy is Young to post right at the elbow. Definitely Tyler Cook. And then he tells Patrick Williams to come to the left corner. Right. Zach Levine, you can see him point to the screen. Daddy is Young. The Get the switch, and now this is where he posts up at the elbow. So as you can see where it's stacked up, it's basically a straight line with the Pistons and the way angle means they're trying to get Killian Hayes to go help. One hand miss opportunity. Now the way that Thaddeus Young is posting up right now, he's going to have a clear angle to the basket because Zach Levine's passing the ball to Patrick Williams. His man has to go out to Patrick Williams. So look, right here, Daddy Zhang has a perfect lane, smaller player on him. He's going to probably get a layup, so. Lee does a good job of getting back into it, but Killian Hayes has to go help. Pretty much where the angle comes in. It's an angled pass. Killian Hayes goes and helps. Now Isaiah Stewart's in between a rock and a hard place. You got Nikola Vucevic at the top, and you got Kobe White in the corner. Keelan Hayes goes way too far, and he should have kind of stayed in the middle of the half circle, but doesn't, goes all the way in. Corner pass, Isaiah Stewart. Honestly, he could have threw it to Vucevic, too. He didn't even decide on either. Wide open three. Great play by Billy Donovan and great execution by Zach Levine. Play started with him deciding, okay, set the screen right here, take the elbow. He doesn't do that. They don't get the open shot. So great play call by the Bulls. Great execution by the Bulls. A good job by Zach Levine kind of being the second point guard. Now here's a play right here that really shows Zach Levine seeing something that happened in the game earlier that worked and going back to it, knowing that it's going to work again. So right here, you see. Basically tells Nikola Vucevic, watch the miss. If it comes out, get it to me. We're going to run a two-man game. Two-man game had a lot of success during the game. Him and Vucevic scored like four times on this. Makes a free throw. Pistons know this. They're denying the ball heavily. And you see Kobe where he points. He's like, get it to Zach. Get it to Zach. So he's like, all right, come here. He tells him to set the screen. Billy Donovan. He said, like, all right, go do it right here. And you see where the defense is positioned. 
trying to help because they know that they scored on this like four times. So they're like, we got to help, man. Completely out of the way of Garrett Temple. You can see they brought the double. Trying to run basically a zone. And you can see Vucevic is a willing passer. So he can hit the corner. He can hit that corner. So they kind of they fake. Like they're going to try and reach. But they end up going back to the corner. And Vucevic is able to take it to the rim. Without consulting any coaches, he was able to figure this play out. Great play by Zach Levine. Seeing what was working and going right back to it. Nikola Vucevic, good job listening to his teammates. And, I mean, it worked out. Now, although this is just a small set of plays, you can tell that Zach Levine has the Chicago Bulls in a different spot than they've been in before. Although they are fighting for a playing spot, it's a better result than what they've had in the recent past. And with another mainstay coming in in Nikola Vucevic, Chicago Bulls are on the right track.